إني جزيتهم اليوم بما صبروا إني جزيتهم اليوم بما صبروا أنهم هم الفائزون. But this always reminds me when I hear things like this. One day I was on my way back from a very long trip, I think coming from Australia or something like that. And I'd already been on a plane for 14 hours. I was very tired. I think I landed at LAX. LAX is the worst port of immigration to the United States ever. You have to go through about 10 securities, this and that and the other. And at that time, I was put into the VIP line. And most Muslims who have traveled know what the VIP line is. <laughs> they give you a little orange card and tell you to go into this special line where they will inspect my luggage to make sure that there is nothing that I randomly forgot to pack that shouldn't be in there, to make sure there's nothing that might harm me. You know, they, they take really good care of me. But they want to make sure that I am well taken care of before I get on the plane. So they put me in that little special line, give me a little orange tag, uh, you know, that you wave around, you know. <laughs> like, um, and I was standing in that line. And I was dressed about how I am today. And there were a couple of people who, uh, I'm not going to stereotype them, um, were looking at me and they, had, they got a smirk on their face. And I was kind of frustrated. You know, I had just been through a lot. And every human being has their breaking point. Every human being. And they all of a sudden started laughing with each other and they just, you know, shouted randomly enough, loud enough for everybody to hear. Yep, make sure you check that one there real good. Because he probably has something on him right now. So make sure you check him real good. One of them there Muslims right there, make sure you check him good. <clears throat> so, I smiled, which is what I do when I get very angry. And I stepped out of the VIP line. I had reached my limit. And I walked over to said individuals. And I said, loudly enough so that everybody could hear me. You know what? Laugh all you want today. Get it all out today. Laugh it up and have a good old joke on my behalf. Because let me guarantee you one thing. There will come a day. There will come a day where you will stand in front of the one who created you. And you will ransom your own children to stand in this line with me for five minutes. And I have no doubt about that fact. There will come a day where you will give your very children, your parents, you will sell everything you own to come back to this world and stand right here in this line with me. So laugh all you want today, because after that day, the only laughter that will ever be heard for eternity will be the laughter of the people of paradise, and they are in this line. And I walked away. This is the truth. This is the reality that there will come a day when every single individual that exists will wish to be you will trade places with you, will ransom everything that they own to sit where you're sitting today, just for a moment. They will say to Allah, what will they say? When the angel of death comes to them, Allah says they will say, Rabbi, irji an, send me back. Send me back, why? So that I can do some good with that which I left behind. So you should have some honor today. You should have some honor today that you were chosen. You didn't do anything to get what you have right now. All of you in this room today that are Muslim, it is because you have been given a gift, a ni'mah from Allah to be Muslim. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربنا أخرجنا منها فإن عدنا فإنا ظالمون قال اخسأوا فيها ولا تكلمون إنه كان فريق من عبادي يقولون يقولون ربنا آمنا فاغفر 
فاغفر لنا وارحمنا يقولون ربنا آمنا فاغفر لنا وارحمنا وأنت خير الراحمين فاتخذتموهم سخريا حتى أنسوكم ذكري فاتخذتموهم سخريا حتى أنسوكم ذكري وكنتم منهم تضحكون إني جزيتهم اليوم بما صبروا إني جزيتهم اليوم بما صبروا أنهم هم الفائزون 